Day 3, Part 2, Madrid, Spain, Escapade You are watching Jancy's Corner Ang hirap para mag-order ng takeout dito sa Spain, guys Kasi kailangan ng mobile number to send a security code Pag wala kang mobile number ng Spain, ang hirap mag-order so, better to eat in the hotel restaurant. Since it is very hot guys, it is really nice to drink uh, an icy cold cola or any soft drink. So, we have this Coke. Of course, picture muna habang nagaantay. <laughs> Ito yung mga itsura na mga nagutuman. Alas 4 na. Mula alas 12 pa ang plano ng pagkain. Hanggang wala pa rin. <laughs> so, intay-intay lang. Intay pa rin. Finally, our order has served. At nabuhayan ang lahat. Masarap. Happy na sa dagoy? Nakangiti ka na? Happy Father's Day! <laughs> Marinela? What do you call this? It's a pasta bolognese. No, it's a pasta with seafood. So everyone is busy eating and uh, we didn't really talk too much. We just concentrated on the foods. Kasi nga, gutom na. Ang mood ng lahat, nakakangiti na. Kasi busog na. <laughs> High blood. Muntik na ako mag -rebel. <laughs> So, let's go back to our room and rest. So, this is the other room we have, guys. This is the room that we paid for. How much? 230. Yeah. There you are. It's the same room as the other one. It's just the setup is quite different. So yeah, it's also a double bed. We'll show you around, guys. So this is the bed, the double bed that we have. It has a bedside lamp on both sides and uh, accented with frames. Opposite of the bed is the large mirror and inlet cabinet. Facing the bed, on the left side, there is a TV and refrigerator. While on the right side is the toilet. So they have uh, two toilet bowls, one for evacuation and one is for the uh, washing. Much, much, much later. So today guys is the third day here in Madrid and we're planning to explore the place. So. We've been waiting for the Aguilar and they just arrived. So I don't know if we have tickets. Usually they uh, have like a family ticket. 
with family ticket you can buy 10 tickets for 12 something so you can save a lot Here in Madrid, Spain, guys, one of the means of transportation is the metro, which is an underground train. And they have some rules and regulation during COVID, so you need to be aware of it. So in the metro, guys, or in the train, mask is required, so you must wear them. Michaela, stop doing that. You're going to get dizzy. And time to take pictures again. Mahirap talaga guys pag uh, hindi ka nakaka-intindi ng <laughs> mga signs of time kasi nawawala. Doon pa lang kami sa kabilang platform. So lilipat na naman kami ulit. More moments later. At last guys, we arrived here in Seoul. So, our journey starts here. So, this is the Plaza Mayor, guys. It's under construction right now. So, you can really see the beauty. You can see there. Under construction. So, right now, I think it's about 6 o'clock. 6 something. And the weather is just perfect. You know, it's not too hot. It's very nice to walk around. So many people, if you can see. Lots of people around. So this is one of their shopping districts. You can see some stores on both sides of this, uh, this lane. Keep going, we'll walk around, we'll explore the place, see? As we keep walking on the street, we found this souvenir shop where managed by the Filipino people. And they are also selling half on and half off bus tour, so we decided to get some tickets. So guys, we bought a ticket for the Madrid City Ayan. Tour bus and we're here in front of the Congreso de los Diputados and I think our tour bus is here now. And here we are approaching the Plaza de Cibeles. This place that you're about to see is called the Plaza de Colón. The Fernan Gomez Centro Cultural de la Villa. My memory, ano lang memory mo? Ano si Margarita Kenny? Bilib na bilib yung alam mo as we go along, you can see different kinds of style of a building and some are like a Victorian style and some are modern and stylish.
And this building is so amazing. It looks like a hanging building uh, in the air. This is supposed to be a half on and half off tour, but it's because there are so many places to go around, so we don't have enough time. So we just decided to just hop on all the time and hop off once where we came from. Oh, we're just enjoying the joyride and see the beautiful place here in Madrid. This street is called Serrano. Uh, it is noted as the location for luxury flagship stores. So if you want to go for shopping to the max guys, this is the place where you can go. So guys, if you are on the top uh, part of the bus, just be careful because these leaves can uh, hit you. And this stone sculpture is called Monumento al Descobrimiento de America and Joaquin Vaquero Tokyo Sculpture. And just beside to this sculpture is the building called Museo Arqueológico. And this huge infrastructure in the middle of the runabout is called Puerta de Alcala. Wow. Then we are back to the Plaza de Cibeles. Overall, guys, I would say that they have a fascinating city. It is uh, very clean and well organized, and the infrastructure was really very uh, interesting and sophisticated. And around this time, the sun is setting and it's striking to our eyes. 
roughly more or less it's about seven to eight o'clock in the afternoon but still there is a sun and usually the uh, the center is until uh, 10 o'clock so you can just go around and enjoy until 10 o'clock they are open uh, that is because there's still a sun during this time of the day so we are near again to the starting point and along the way we just uh, see this fascinating building it looks like a Victorian style building and yeah it's so nice to see and look around So if you want a closer look of this building, this is how it looks like. And now we are approaching the starting point where we hop on. It is called Plaza de las Cortes. Since this is uh, where we hop on last time, so this is the last stop that we're going to visit as well, so we decided to hop off at this time. And before we leave this place, we took some souvenir photos. And we decided to go back to the center, the Plaza de Mayor. And along the way, we keep taking some pictures for a souvenir. And as we walk along with this alley, I found this uh, popular brand name shop, Louis Vuitton. I was amazed with this uh, meat shop and it looks so posh, so I just took a short video clip. Yay! So guys, we're back here again in Plaza Mayor. So right now guys, the temperature is really, really very good. Masarap yung hangin, hindi siya mainit. Pag maano naman yung init, hindi siya masakit sa balat. So ideally, if you want to go here in and Spain, Madrid, you go around the place around 6 o'clock in the evening during summertime. As I've said earlier guys, this is the Plaza Mayor. And JC is very anxious about the big bell on the top of the building and he's expecting it to ring but actually it's more than six o'clock in the afternoon so more or less it will not happen anymore but he's very anxious about it and he doesn't like the loud sound of the bell that's why he's covering his ears We just noticed that here in Madrid during summertime, uh, most of the people come out in the evening because this is the coolest um, temperature during the day. So we just stopped here and we were thinking where we are going to eat, whether we're gonna go to the Jollibee again uh, or go somewhere else. And everyone have decided to try the uh, Asian restaurant and we just 
do our research and yeah, we try to look for it. So we just keep walking and walking trying to find the Asian restaurant and as we go along uh, I'm trying to get some video clips uh, just for a remembrance of the places that we have been. Finally, we have found what we were looking for, but unfortunately, it doesn't suit us, especially for the kids. There's not much options for them, so we decided to find another uh, Asian restaurant. So we keep searching for the other Asian restaurant, and honestly, at this stage, we're quite hungry already. And it's somewhere like 8, eight o'clock in the evening. Aside from that, we are also quite tired already of walking around. Oh no! So yeah, so we just need to be patient looking and find out more about this Asian restaurant. Finally, we found this Asian restaurant and we have a look. However, it doesn't look very appetizing, so we just decided to abandon the place and look for another restaurant. While discussing things, Jason and I managed to take some pictures. And at the end, we decided to go back to the Chalibi. So finally, we're here inside the Chalibi. And while we're waiting, I was just going to show you around how the Jollibee in Madrid, Spain looks like. Our order has arrived. Today, here in Jollibee, I got the burger steak. Mm. Mm, what have you got, Kayla? It's just rice. Is that rice and chicken? This is always fries. <laughs> So far, the taste is so good, it's yummy and satisfying. Wow. 
After eating, we decided to have some pictures once again. And then after that, we went home. Obviously, we used the metro once again and JC was already anticipating the loud sound of the steam of the metro train and he is already covering his ears. So here is our pictures inside the metro train and as you can see, it's only not JC who is affected by the loud sounds of the metro trains steam but also Taya has the same reaction. <laughs> As usual, we get some taxi going to our hotel. In no time, we arrive to our hotel and have rested. And our third day has ended. And I hope guys you have enjoyed watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe in our YouTube channel. And visit us at www.jnccorner.com. And see you guys next time. Bye!